Hey folks, Unit Servo here outside at my last storage locker, which is getting emptied out. And there's a reason for that. But uh, just give you a quick tour before this is all gone. Well, some of it's gone. Well, the locker's gone anyway. But yeah, we just have all sorts of uh, larger crap in here. Sorry for the noise. Had to wait for a train to pass, which was extremely loud. Anyway. The idea is, oh, I've got a camera has to adjust here. One of these is going away, and that, let's find a tag. Actually, two of these. Oh, it's getting dark, it's getting dark. There we go. One of the Cyber 960s is going away. Yeah, I sold one. I uh, didn't need it because when i purchased these two machines and some other machines like uh there's there's another cyber that's an older one that's an 830 but when i purchased the two 960s and uh yeah sorry st cramped storage locker and uh not much space to get a good picture i purchased two of these machines st strictly to have one as a spare because the cpu cards are all custom chips and stuff like that so I figured you know I better get a spare while well, I have a chance because yeah these things they they're rapidly disappearing from the planet in fact I think the last operating cyber has been switched off uh, anyway I actually was in contact with the very remains of CDC controlled data BT federal and I managed to, well, I, be, I managed to become, I think, their very last customer. The very last customer of Control Data. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Dusty in here. They had a CPU card set. New and certified working. And they were just going to scrap it. So I bought it for very, very, very little money. I also bought a, a control unit I, I absolutely needed and a spare CRT for my cyber console, which has a necked CRT. So, when I got a spare CPU card set, guess what? One of these cybers has become redundant. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, you can see way in the back. H960 contains air, is comprised of three cabinets. There's the CPU cabinet, there's the uh, memory and I.O. cabinet, and there is the power supply cabinet. The power supply cabinets are down here. They have these uh, very distinctive, weird, sloped sides. I, I, I can't say these are real attractive machines. But in any case, there's no real point in me having two now that I have a spare card set. So, offered one of them up, got some interested people, and now one of these is leaving for a uh, another home and it's leaving in the end of september so i need to figure out which of the two machines i am getting rid of and frankly they're both in the same condition uh both very very good condition um so yeah it's it's the cards are stored off site well on site i guess i guess this is off site and here in the storage locker uh, the cards I have back in the warehouse. So, yeah, these things are, have been, uh, you know, you can see it's, it's nice and dry here. Uh, these things are, have been um, treated quite well. But, yeah, I'm just uh, going to prep them. So, uh, get them out of here at the end of September. And uh, just so you can see what else is here. Well, <laughs> back in the sunlight. This is one of my 400 hertz sources. This is a big motor generator. I think it's either 20 kVA or 25 kVA 25 kVA and I think about 2500 pounds <laughs> so uh, this is how you power a cyber a big big motor generator and yeah this weighs about 2500 pounds and wow is it fun to move especially since the uh, pallet is kind of falling apart uh, this is uh, my second 830. I'll probably be getting rid of one of these 830s as well. Um, I actually have already have a spare card set for um, the 830s. 
so one of these has been redundant basically forever so much more manageable machine it's kind of the generation before the 960s oh yeah okay fine you can't really see the 960s too well because of the cramped space but hey at least you can well sort of see sort of see the 830 uh, behind that and yeah I know it's cramped all oh, this stuff's gonna be out eventually that's uh that's a disc for the cyber uh, any cyber really uh, it's basically kind of a neat box by Amperif I normally tape people but uh, they actually made this for CDC cybers it is a um, kind of a big disc emulator it's got a bunch of SMD discs either 8 or 16 depending on the model and connects to four cyber channels. So that's pretty nice. It emulates some standard uh, CDC drives, I think 844s or 855, 885s, sorry. Um, and the nice thing is, hey, they're SMD drives, which are a whole lot more common, easier to find than, uh, well, 840, any CDC drive that isn't an SMD device. So yeah, that's nice, you know. I, in hindsight, I should have gotten two of those, but I only got one because I was running out of time and money. Uh, but I did manage to get one, and yeah, you can see, uh, it's big, it's big. So yeah, that's what this locker looks like, and one of these is going away. I think there are a couple of, uh, well, mystery boxes. I'm not entirely certain what those are. I'm going to get it down. When Ian gets back, he's going to give me a hand getting it down, I think. And, uh, yep, one of these cybers is going away. Let me get back out here. And, uh, oh, the sunlight. Yeah, under the foam is a, a beautiful cast aluminum thing with the CDC logo and a big thing that says control data. Beautiful. Uh, probably the only nice thing looking thing on these machines. I'm not, I don't know, I'm a little more partial towards the, uh, as I called them, golden harvest was the color the older machines yeah this the 960 kind of got into the the uh, the dreaded pastel era of computing <laughs> oh boy didn't anyone learn from ibm back in the 60s color we want color and not this washed out stuff anyway all right thought i'd let you see what's going on and uh yeah like the video if you want maybe uh maybe like subscribe all that stuff and of course Thank you to my patrons. I've got a few of you guys. Thank you very much. You can go to uh, Patreon uh, and look up Uniserva. I'll provide a link. And uh, hey, if you can spare a buck a month, you can help me out here. Espe especially uh, <laughs> get, getting a, a forklift, renting a forklift to move this thing. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.